Hey friends, welcome back. This situation, this uh, video, we are, we are trying to learn how to create a data from the CSV files. So we have already created data for a particular CSV file. We will create some more CSV file, some more data for a CSV file, so that it, we can we can create a storyline um, going forward. Okay. So let's see how to let's uh, start with that. Okay. So as I have told, uh, in in a, in a base, you just need to go to the spaces. So once you go to the spaces, you can get this uh, space wise, which is our own space, what we have created. Now I'm going to data builder tools. Data builder tools, you will find the space Y. Select the space Y, and then you can go to the tables. And from tables, you can just get a click on these things. So we can it, it will be just import the CSV file to create a tables. So once you is creating, clicking on the import the CSV file, it's uh, giving you the option how to select a file from the database. So I'm selecting a source file. So once I'm selecting a source file, I am I'm, it's giving me the opening the local file. It's uh, help allow me to browse throughout my system. And once I'm browsing throughout my system, I found all those files available. Now I all the cells order is created. Now I'm I'm creating the cells order item. So selecting cells order item, it will be created and it is having the CSV files, which is uh, then it's uh, also the auto detect mode. So once the auto detect mode is done, uh, so it will be automatically detected the file name, data type, and all and so on. So clicking on this upload, it will pull in the data from the local file to the this database. So once it is done, now you will get that is actually processing now the word header max coming as a name and now you can see the cells or the stuff cells or the cells or item product id notes and currency all those available now if you have cells or the id you can click on that you can you can set it as a key so maybe cells or id you can set it as a key product id you can set it as a key something like that so you can you can see once you have selected the things is selected over here and here we have an option where you can split, you can create a transform, you can create change case. So change to lower case, change to upper case, like you can change the cases, all those information are available. Okay. And also you can see this is it is in the sales of the items, we have a nineteen hundred thirty rows and we have a thirteen columns. Now I'm clicking on this deploy so that it can be deployed the system. So we have the business name and we have the sales order item, technical item. So let's get it deployed. Okay. Yeah, the option you can you can change this. Your sales order and sales order item are already deployed. Again, you can you can go you can you can play the sales order. You can go you can edit this table. You have the columns you can you can open the tables you can have the normal list of columns here so once you select the columns you have these columns available like what is the name of the column what is the data type what is the default value or null not null is accepted or it is visible or invisible okay so once it is a sales order id so if you would like to change into integer 64 to something else so you can change it to integer 64 to integer something else so it you can change the integer you can into change into long binary blah blah, blah anything you can be changed as it is a case where so i'm not going to take the risk but you can you can change the date you can take the integer <coughs> change by it's also integer let me check into indi integer 64 to integer i hope should not be changed do anything so now i am I'm save these things and once you are saving you need to do a deploy so table saved now we are deploying the table so once deployed table it is actually it is actually kind of save and activation the table is activated and it is, it is available over there okay same way if you if you if you just move this check mark that means it will be not visible not visible so it is kind of visibility so if you would like to hide some column just move those columns so it will be hide it hide and if you check them so it will be available if you would like to do a primary key so just click on this not null so it will be not it will accept not null information okay if you would like to do some key elements you can just click the this uh, check this thing so it will be it will be considered as a key okay so 
access on the ID and we can consider the inheritance key. Okay. So this is all about an Arsenal. So once I'm saved, I'm deploying this file. The same way I'm going to upload some more files okay so again I'm going to data builders going to tables and going to input from files going from CSV I'm doing very quickly so hope you can follow this okay. so and now I'm saying doing the business partners and auto detect and click on upload so once it is uploaded I'm not going to do any any kind of R&D I'm just going to deploy them okay so i'm clicking on deploy so it is getting deployed okay so one more table is getting created so it's very easy right so consuming a table from csv file is not a very big deal so you can do it very easily what do you say the same way one more file i am going to upload that is the address files so i'm again going to the going following the same step csv files addresses auto detect use the fast as a column header so if you have a header in so that you can fast as a column header if you don't have a header you can do that same things uh, you can remove these things so in that case you need to provide probably you need to provide that <laughs> header name i never tried in that but i'll try and i'll let you know now click on upload so it's update uploaded Once it is uploaded, then I'm clicking on the deploy so it can deploy these things. Okay, so I'm clicking on the deploy, so let it be deployed. So it's deployed. You see now you can you can see right there's lots of tables that will be created. So I have created the four tables. So you can see this there's four tables addresses, business partner, sales order, and sales order item. Four tables are already created, right? Now consider I just would like to do some changes in the addresses table. So I'm just clicking on the addresses table. Okay, so I'll I'll think it's better if we can we can end up today and maybe the next session we can discuss on that table details properties. Thank you.